we want to talk about vector multiplication. Now, there are three ways in which we can multiply vectors. The first way um, is vector times a scalar. So if I take a vector and I multiply it by a scalar, now if you remember a vector, oh boy, that doesn't show up, let me try a different color. How's that? Ah, there we go. So if I multiply a vector times a scalar, um, if you remember what that means, a vector is something that has a magnitude and direction, has a size, and it has a direction associated with it. A perfect example of that is force. We've all experienced force. You get pushed. Well, you get pushed with a certain amount. Did you get pushed hard? Did you get pushed soft? Did you get pushed north? Did you get pushed south? Did you, get, you know, which way were you pushed? That's a vector. Scalar, on the other hand, if you remember, has no direction. It has a magnitude, but no direction. And I, to me, the perfect scalar is temperature. It's hot. <laughs> you know? It's 85 degrees. It's not 85 degrees north. It's just simply 85 degrees. Okay? So I'm taking that vector. I'm going to multiply it by that scalar. And the net result of that is going to be another vector. Okay? It's barely visible trying this outside, actually, have my garage door open and doing it that way. So vector times a scalar. So let me give an example of a vector. So let's say I have 3x hat. Now, if you remember, that x hat just denotes that I'm going 3 in the x direction with some sort of magnitude. In the case of, let's say, position or velocity, I'm traveling at, traveling at 3 meters per second in the x direction, if you will. Now, if I wanted to double that, I'm going to multiply it by a scalar times 2, okay? So 3x times 2, well, that's going to give you 6x. I just simply doubled my speed, okay? Let's see if I can lower that a little. I just simply doubled my speed, okay? So... 3x hat times 2 gives me 6 hat, uh, 6x hat, sorry. Now, the funny thing is, is that anytime you use this notation, you're already multiplying a vector times a scalar. This x hat is a vector. It tells me the direction, and it actually tells me the magnitude. If in the case of velocity that we are talking about here, the direction is x hat. It's still in that x direction, but its magnitude is 1 meter per second. Okay, so when I multiply it by this 3, which represents a scalar, I end up with 3 meters per second, or 3x hat. I'm already doing vector multiplication. Okay, cool? So that's the first method. Vector times scalar always gives me a vector. And it's simple mathematics. Now, if it was a more complicated vector, excuse me, Instead, let's say my vector was something like 3x hat plus 4y hat, okay? Barely see the plus sign there. So 3x hat plus 4y hat. So if you remember what that means, that means I'm going to go 3 in one direction, 4 in the other direction, and this is my vector, okay? Cool? So if I multiplied that by... Two, all I'm going to end up doing is making all my vectors double. Okay? So I end up with 3x hat plus 4y hat times 2 is nothing more than 6x hat plus 4y hat. If you think about it, it's nothing more than going this way by 3, this way by 4, this way by 3, this way by 4 or this way by 6, that way by 8. Okay? It's the same process. Cool? So that's what we do when we deal with vectors times scalars. The other important thing that you need to know is if in case this wasn't a 2, but instead a negative 2, okay? So I'm multiplying that by a negative 2 instead simply a 2, things change again. So anytime I multiply by a negative to a positive, 
I end up getting a negative result. So I'd end up with equals negative 6x, negative 8y, okay? So instead of going all the way up here, I end up going in the opposite direction, okay? That negative denoting direction and a negative 6x means that I'm going, you know, if I was going to go 6 this way, I'm going to go 6 that way instead. Cool? Vector time scalar.